What's up, guys? Welcome to the Cardano University. Uh, my name is RJ, and I'm a part of the Chef DAO. Today, we're going to uh, focus on getting your ADA off of centralized exchanges such as Binance, and then moving them over to a light wallet where now you're in control of your own keys and you have the ability to stake with stake pools within the Cardano ecosystem itself. Uh, so let's go. Uh, we use Google Chrome because that's where the eternal wallet extension can get down it, downloaded to through the web store, the Chrome web store. Uh, so it doesn't work on Safari, so that's why we use Google Chrome. So Google Chrome, go into Google, type in eternal wallet, uh, wallet, oops, and then just go to the Chrome web store, click that, and we're going to add to Chrome. One thing I want to note is just make sure that you're Googling it from eternal.io. That is the one you want. You don't want to download CC Vault because uh, that's out of date. So we're going to add to Chrome. We're going to let it do its thing. Okay. And then we're going to watch up here. So now we've got it. So we can exit this. We do no longer need that. Uh, we'll go to the puzzle, please, and we'll click Eternal. Uh, you can also pin it to the toolbar so it's just always there. That's what I like. So I just leave it there. I'm going to um, add a wallet. So we have four options here. We have create a wallet, which is what we're going to be doing. We're going to create a new Cardano Shelly wallet. Uh, you have the other option, uh, hardware wallet, where you could pair a hardware wallet. So take your Nano Ledger, whatever the case may be. You could import a wallet. So if you had previously exported your wallet to the desk or to your computer, you could just simply import it from here. Uh, this is a fun one here. So restoring a wallet. Uh, if you had an old computer that had some ADA on a dead loose wallet or something from back in the day or whatever the case may be, something broke on the computer, you couldn't access it, you had it on your phone, whatever it is, you could simply just click this button and it will restore your wallet. You just need the 24, 15, or 12 word phrase that... Uh, you got when you opened the wallet and what it does is it just takes all those assets that you had in that wallet and imports it right to this new wallet here um, you don't need the password you don't need anything all you need is those word phrases um, so that's one of the misconceptions back in the day that we had was people were they were opening a wallet and then they wanted to open another wallet on their phone right so they'd open a new wallet and then they would transfer ada over to that wallet and that's not the case um you know, all you have to do, you pay these fees when you transfer your ADA and your assets along, right? They're not big, but you pay them. Uh, this one here just literally just has it so that way you can open up your wallet, right? Like that's just what it is, uh, as long as it's a Shelly wallet. So we're not going to do that. We're going to create a new wallet. So here we are. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to call this Cardano Uni. And we're going to give this a password. I'm going to mess that up. Yep, that worked. Okay. Okay, so now you're at this part here where it's number of accounts. Number of accounts in this one here, the re we're going to go with one, but the reason why you'd have multiple accounts, for example, would be if you want to stake with multiple stake pools. So if you wanted to stake with the Chef DAO and then three other ones out there, you could do that with one wallet instead of having multiple wallets per um, multiple wallets per stake pool. You could just have one wallet and, and a lot X amount of ADA per stake pool per account. Keep in mind, there's a, there's a little uh, disclaimer here. Keep in mind that each uh, account you do, it slows down your sync times. So we'll just stick with one. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a seed phrase here, okay? So what we need to do is this was that thing we were talking about where we were gonna restore a wallet. Uh, we're gonna keep this super confidential. We don't wanna show this to anybody. Uh, in this situation, you guys are all gonna get to see my seed phrase to this wallet. Uh, but this is super confidential. A lot of people take pictures of it with their phones. They totally go against it because if you lose this or somebody hacks your phone or whatever the case may be, they have your ADA or all your assets. So in this situation, we are going to break the law and we're going to snap a quick photo of it just so we have it here. But uh, what you need to do is write this down and put it in like a safe or something like that because this is basically the keys to all of your work. Okay. So now we're going to click yes. I uh, wrote it down. Make sure you write it down properly too and in order as well. Continue. And then it's just going to ask you to redo those. So we'll come back after I do all this because it's going to take me a couple seconds to do. Okay. So we have inputted all those 
words to the recovery phrase. I understand. So now we have a wallet. Uh, there's nothing in there. We're not delegated to anything, but there is your eternal wallet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Binance. We're going to go into our account, logged in, everything like that. We're going to go to our wallet. Okay. Uh, we're going to, whoops. Oh, okay. Wallet. Whoops. Fiat and spot. Because we're just going to the wallet itself to do that. So now we're going to go to withdraw. Okay. We're going to withdraw. And then we're over here to withdraw crypto. We're going to go to this one. We're going to click the Cardano because that's what we want. Uh, we are sending it off the, the exchange now. So we're not doing it to a Binance user. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Eternal. We're going to go to receive. And this is our address right here. Okay. So these squares right here, if you click that, that copies it. If not, then just take this right here and do the same thing. It's the same bloody thing, does it? But I'm just going to copy it like that. Now we're going to go back to here. We're going to go enter address, control V or paste, it automatically picks up that we're sending it to on the Cardano network. So we're going to leave that alone. And then we're going to just send 100 ADA over to this thing. We're good to go. So now we're just going to click withdraw. Okay, it's going to say ensure that address is connected. Correct. It is. So we're going to click continue. Uh, it's going to want all your information. So now we're going to do it. Save address, blah, 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 blah. So that's one of those situations where uh, we'll see how long it takes. Uh, I know places like Binance, these exchanges, like to hold on to your Cardano for long periods of time for their staking purposes. Um, but uh, we'll see how long that takes. But anyway, uh, we'll wait for that to show up here. Uh, in any event, that's basically all it takes. It's going to show up in the address here. And when it does... Uh, you've completed it. You've now moved your Cardano. You've done a great thing by taking your Cardano off of Binance and putting it into a wallet. You now are in control of your own Cardano. Congratulations. Uh, that's all for now. Hit a like and subscribe to the Cardano University. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter. And uh, yeah, we will um, see you on the next video. Take care.